Penny, my wife and I towed a swift base camp to the Yorkshire Dales to do some walking and cycling. We stayed a mile north of Settle in Landcliffe Caravan Park. We set up on our pitch and soon discovered that it was easier to use the Swift Command app on my smartphone to control the heating, lighting, hot water and fridge than it was to use the panel above the door. The app is intuitive and through several screens you could control the heating and lighting and so on. The base camp has good storage above and below the kitchen, plus removable bags on both sides for storing clothes and equipment. At the front of the vehicle, is the locker for storing the LPG cylinders which can run the heating, hot water and fridge if you're off-grid and the hob of course, plus a spare wheel is in there too. We've been camping for years so it made a great change to be able to eat inside the cosy base camp over a sturdy table, listen to music with a glass of wine. The kitchen in the plus version is well laid out and has enough surface space to prepare food easily. The next day after breakfast, we headed out of the park on foot towards a nearby hill to the southeast. You start out walking up and over the railway line along a small lane before turning left up a steep track. It's a good track for a couple of hundred meters before it turns to grass. The climb is steady and you soon reach the top. Top, the scenery opens up into the craggy limestone landscape of the Yorkshire Dales. It's good walking country, only a stone's throw from the caravan park. For lunch, there's nothing quite like sitting on a rock with a flask of tea eating your sandwiches. It's simple pleasure in beautiful surroundings. After lunch, we headed off again, along the track and up a hill. Soon enough, on a normal day, you can see Malham Tarn, which feeds the river at Malham Cove, the famous landmark. Unfortunately, the weather was too misty on that day for us to be able to see it. Nevertheless, it's great country and really good scenery, even though it might be steep at times, and it's a fantastic place to walk. After our 10 mile walk, it was great to get back and be able to wash off our boots. The base camp has a handy outside tap fixture to do just this. After a busy day out in the hills, we decided to go out that evening and see a band in Settle, the Phantom Voices. next morning, I decided to head off for a ride through the Dales while Penny did some more local cycling. Out of Settle, I climbed 900 feet in less than three miles. But soon enough, I caught my breath to take in the incredible scenery. We're not used to hills like this in Lincolnshire. Well, I just cycle up out of Settle, up the, up the most enormous hill. Uh, now up on the uh, moorlands, as you can probably see beside me here. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous, a uh, bit sunnier, brighter today than yesterday, uh, it's fantastic. Uh, views up here off to the right of me here, I don't know if you can see those, uh, but uh, now going up towards Malham in that direction, going out to do 37 miles and then uh, over the Dales and then back to Settle to the base camp and uh, a nice hot shower. Right. Off we go. The cycling in the Yorkshire Dales is good and the roads are quiet on the whole. I pass lots of cyclists and of course there are places to stop for a cuppa and a cake. Coming back into Landcliffe I came across a herd of inquisitive cows on the road. With some encouragement they let me pass before I headed back down into the dale. After a quick shower, Penny and I headed out for a short walk in the afternoon sunshine from Malham Tarn to Malham Cove. It's a beautiful spot and well worth a visit to see the classic limestone pavement and cliffs, and you can often see peregrine falcons. 
There's no doubt that base camp is very cosy and comfortable after an active day. The base camp is perfect for what we do. Coming back to it after a day in the hills, walking or cycling is great. It's warm, comfortable, surprisingly spacious and well equipped. You can load bikes easily into it and strap them down using the anchor. It could do with a third one on the top to make it perfect. It's light too, meaning you don't need a 4x4 to tow it. The flexibility and comfort makes it a great choice if you love the great outdoors and need a caravan designed for active holidays. 